Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today is my first pregnancy update for baby number three. If you guys are new to my channel, I have a three-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter. And so this is my third pregnancy in three and a half years. So my babies are very close together. And I have my daughter here with me today. This is Olivia, if you guys are new. She is just gonna be hanging out here with us today. But I did lots of pregnancy updates with Olivia. So if you guys are interested in my previous ones, I will leave the playlist down below in the description box. And if you guys enjoy like pregnancy related videos, pregnancy updates, all of that fun stuff, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not. So I'm just gonna start off with like the symptoms that I've been having. I am six weeks pregnant, so I'm still early. But like I said, this is my third pregnancy really close together. So I feel like my body is kind of in like overdrive right now. Like it just knows what to do and it knows what's coming. So it's already starting all of these things earlier than any of my previous pregnancies. So one thing that I've noticed already happening super early is the like top of my stomach is already starting to get bigger and it's already really uncomfortable to wear like my high-waisted jeans or high-waisted leggings that kind of hit like right in the middle of my stomach. I've been having to wear stuff that goes under my belly and I think I will need to invest in some more maternity clothes very, very soon. And probably the biggest symptom that I've had, I will say I will always be like totally real with you guys here on my channel about my symptoms and all that stuff. So if you're not into like TMI or hearing like the real stuff that goes on in pregnancy, then this might not be the video for you. But anyways, my biggest symptom so far has been constipation and it's just giving me so much discomfort and like pain in my stomach and just making it super hard some days to get up and do a lot of stuff because I'm just so uncomfortable and really don't feel good. I also remember that was a big symptom I had with Olivia. So who knows, maybe that means I'm having another girl. I don't know. I have not had too much morning sickness, which is kind of surprising because I did have really bad morning sickness with both of my other kids. So maybe it just hasn't started yet. I don't know, but there's only been a couple of days where I felt really sick, but I never thrown up or anything like that yet. So maybe it won't happen. Maybe it's just still too early. I don't know. I also have had like very tender breast and extreme tiredness. Like it's insane like how tired I am. I'm tired all the time. And with two kids who nap at different times of the day, I don't get to nap. So it makes the days like really, really long. Um, Another symptom I've been having is, I guess you could call it a symptom. I don't really know. Like oh. lack of appetite. I haven't been able to eat a lot. And what I do eat is really bland food. I've been having a lot of like bagels, croissants, white rice, um, breadsticks. I've been loving breadsticks lately and just a lot of stuff that doesn't have like a lot of flavor with it. Um, I couldn't even eat spaghetti the other night cause it just, just did not sound good. And most of the time I have to like force myself to eat because I don't even want to eat. It's like super weird. I feel really hungry, but I don't want to eat. So, oh my gosh, future taco. So yeah, that's a bit of a struggle, but all of that, all of like the not wanting to eat a lot and eating like bland foods, that also happened with Olivia. I remember with JJ, my first pregnancy, I literally ate nonstop. Like I was always hungry, always eating something like since the time I got pregnant with him. This pregnancy so far is definitely more similar to Olivia's. But yeah, that's about all I have for the updates. I'm still super early in my pregnancy. I have my first doctor's appointment in two more weeks when I am eight weeks pregnant. It is a telephone appointment. And then when I'm 10 weeks, I think I will go in for my first ultrasound. So I'm very excited for that. I'm very excited to talk to the doctor and then get my ultrasound and find out like exactly how far along I am. If I'm like a little bit farther than I think, or if I'm like right on. I always love getting ultrasounds though, of course, and seeing the baby. We are going to be doing the early gender test, which I am so excited. I cannot wait to do it. We're going to be doing the, I think it's called the sneak peek test and it's like an online blood test and they like send you a package you take your blood and you send it back and then a couple days later you will get the results of what gender the baby is so probably in about three more weeks i will find out the gender of the baby which i'm just like so excited about what's up you don't need to jump off the couch <laughs> and one other thing i wanted to share is my pregnancy journal i shared this in my last day in the life vlog but if you guys 
didn't see that or if you guys are new, I will share it again. I had a pregnancy journal with both of the other kids, so I kind of felt like I had to have one with this pregnancy as well. So this one is just called Hello, I'm Pregnant, and I really like this one. One thing I like most about this one that is different from the past two that I had is this one doesn't have specific dates on it or like weeks that you're supposed to fill in. You put your own date and like how far along you are. So I can just kind of do it as I feel like I need to update the book or have time to update it rather than missing like three weeks in the book and then I feel really bad. <laughs> that happened with Olivia's book a lot. But this is what it looks like. And I just got this from Barnes and Noble. I will leave a link in the description box to this book in case you guys are interested. And then the prenatals that I'm taking right now are the one a day, like women's prenatals. I don't like those though. They're very hard to chew and the flavor is not bad, but it's not like the best. So once I run out of those, I definitely will be trying out a different one. So once I find one that I like, I will like share it again with you guys. So I plan to do these updates as often as I feel like I need to. It probably will not be every single week just because week to week, I don't feel like there will be that much of a difference in one week. It'll probably be more like two to three weeks. I will have a new update when there's like more changes to share with you guys because I don't want these update videos to be the same and I don't want them to be boring or like too short. So yeah, I won't be doing them every week, but I will be doing them as often as possible along with baby haul videos and I'll do like my first, second, and third trimester must-haves and like all that fun stuff, which I did with Olivia as well. And I do plan to do it again because I love pregnancy videos. They're like one of my favorites to watch and favorites to film as well. But I think that is gonna be it for my first update. Not like too much going on and basically normal. I've had some really bad days where I just felt like a lot of pain in my stomach and I just didn't have enough energy to like get up and do a lot. So there have been a few days where I just like laid on the couch all day. <sighs> That's why there weren't as many videos this week and I'm gonna try my hardest to keep up three videos a week throughout this pregnancy. But some days I just don't have it in me to do it. And thankfully my husband has been helping out so much around the house and with the kids so that I've been able to just rest and take care of myself this pregnancy. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it though. If you did, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up so that I know that you guys enjoy these videos. Also, please subscribe if you are not already and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye-bye. I don't think we got enough time to sort out